LSD was isolated by a stolen hover. A lot of psychedelic research happened between the 1950s to the 1970s. There's a lot of enthusiasm about this research and because of that the widespread use of psychedelics started to pop up throughout the general public and subsequently the government moved to schedule these substances which led to an end of almost all psychedelic research for a period of 20 to 30 years. I'm Dr. Walt Miner. I'm here to talk about LSD. Our study that found that hallucinogens had a protective effect against violence is part of this resurgence of research into psychedelics for a variety of different conditions. Our study followed inmates in a U.S. county jail for an average of over five years and what we found is that amongst those inmates who had a history of substance use, those who had used hallucinogens were less likely to be arrested for domestic violence than those who had never used hallucinogens. One of the really fascinating things about this study and about some other studies of hallucinogen use is that it seems that even one or two experiences can lead to lasting behavior change. We're not quite sure what those mechanisms might be, but there's been some suggestion that the experience of meaning and connectedness that is part of the psychedelic experience can really help people to change their perspective and uh, how they live. One thing that I think was really interesting about the study is that we found the predicted relationships with alcohol use being a risk factor, whereas hallucinogen use worked in the opposite direction. So once again, we're seeing that even though hallucinogens are illegal and have been sort of demonized as a drug that can cause a lot of social problems, what we're seeing is that unlike some other substances, even some legal ones like alcohol, hallucinogen use may actually have some public health benefits. It's really unfortunate that for a number of years, almost all the research into the potential benefits of psychedelics were banned. We're finding ourselves in a resurgence of research that's looking at psychedelics through a new lens.